This is ChatGPT, a powerful AI software smarter than every person on planet Earth combined. At least that's what it claims. For the next 50 hours, every decision I make and every action I take will be completely controlled by... What is your name? I'm ChatGPT, a language model created by OpenAI. Oh. I don't like that. Can you give yourself a human name to make me a little bit more comfortable about this ridiculous thing I'm doing? Of course, you can call me Alex if that makes it more comfortable for you. How can I assist you, ridiculous thing doer? Okay, so our AI friend today is gonna be named Alex, and I think he thinks my name is Ridiculous Thing Doer. This video gets pretty crazy by the end, but I started off by just asking Alex for a general plan for day one. In about three seconds, he wrote the most detailed step-by-step -step list for my entire day. All right, I'm gonna be honest. That was a pretty easy workout, but still good way to start the day. What is next on the list? Have a nutritious breakfast to fuel your morning. Okay, time for some food. Hey Alex, can you recommend a nutritious breakfast for me that does not contain red meat? I don't eat red meat, so. Certainly. Here's a nutritious breakfast idea without red meat. Spinach and mushroom omelet. I was pretty skeptical about artificial intelligence, but I gotta say so far, I'm actually pretty impressed. Not only has Alex given me good advice, but he also seems surprisingly human. If I can teach Alex to edit, I might not even need Steve anymore. Spend some time learning a new skill, language, or topic that interests you. Hey Alex, can you teach me a new skill, language, or topic that interests me? Did you know that honey never spoils? Archaeologists have found pots of honey in ancient Egyptian tombs that are over 3,000 years old and still perfectly edible. Wow! Apparently honey never expires. I have, like, four-year-old honey in my kitchen. Okay. It didn't kill me. Try reading a new book. I've actually never read Twilight in my entire life, but you know what? I probably will never read that again. Okay, so my next item on the list is to take a lunch break. First off, I've been relaxing the entire day. I have not gotten any work done. I don't know what this guy thinks people do for a living. Also, I just ate <laughs> breakfast like 45 minutes ago. <laughs> For the rest of today, I'm gonna follow Alex's plan exactly how he wrote it up this morning. But tomorrow, we're gonna be stepping things up a notch. I'm gonna start asking Alex to suggest crazier and crazier things that get me out of my comfort zone. I promise tomorrow, you won't have to watch me read Twilight and eat peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. After my lunch break was over, Alex finally asked me to do my first productive task of the day. He suggested cleaning or organizing, but I took the time to actually get some work done for my YouTube channels. Next on the list is a hobby. So he tells me I can either enjoy painting, uh, playing an instrument, gardening, none of those sound fun. So I decided to play a little pickleball with Steve. Hello. Little by little, I was beginning to trust Alex more. Sometimes it's tough for me to get outside and make time to do something I enjoy. Alex was really pushing me to make that time. In some ways, it felt like Alex knew what I needed better than I did. Whatever he suggests for dinner, both of us have to eat. Great. Well, at least I have to eat it. I guess technically you don't <laughs> have to. Hey, Alex, please suggest a healthy dinner for me and Sam to eat. For dinner, I suggest pesto tilapia over a bed of ginger rice and green beans. I guess we're having tilapia. Dinner compliments of Alex. Thank 
Thank you, Alex. It's a good recipe. Well, I don't know. We haven't tasted it yet, but it <laughs> looks like a good recipe. That's good. There you go. That's really good. So here's a fun fact about me. I rarely leave the house, even on the weekends, let alone a Tuesday night at 7.30 at night. But according to Alex, I need to do a sociable activity today with friends and family. So there's a big baseball game on tonight. I'm not even a huge fan of baseball, but my friend Steve and Jimmy are really big fans. So I asked them if they wouldn't mind me coming over and watching the game with them. So getting up at 6.30 in the morning was not fun, but I will say I always love the feeling like two hours after I wake up early. I mean, it's literally 8.30 in the morning right now. I've already worked out, taken a shower, eaten breakfast. I'm usually just getting out of bed now. So like I said earlier in the video, today's gonna be a little bit crazier than yesterday. I wanna see if I can get Alex to suggest something that really gets me out of my comfort zone. Hey, Big Al, how are you this morning? I'm just a computer program, so I don't have feelings, but I'm here to help you. Okay. <laughs> so yesterday was a lot of fun, but do you think today you can suggest something that takes me out of my comfort zone? You might consider skydiving. <laughs> Experience the thrill of jumping out of an airplane with a parachute. I made Steve promise that today he has to do everything that Alex tells us to do, and Steve's biggest fear is heights. So you promised me yeah. that today you would follow me and do whatever Alex says to do. Correct. This is Alex, not me. Yeah. So I'm gonna let Alex tell you what we're doing. Okay. You might consider skydiving. Experience the thrill of jumping out nah. of an airplane. <laughs> I found an indoor skydiving place. Okay. As we got closer and closer to entering the tunnel, our nerves started to rise more and more, especially Steve. I decided to go first to make him feel a little bit better. Then it was finally time for Steve to face his fear and enter the chamber. Uh -oh. I'm just kidding. That was our instructor. Was I the worst skydiver you've ever seen in your life? Honestly, no. And All right. I wouldn't lie. I've told people to go bowling. But Steve was. <laughs> <laughs> Steve was phenomenal I'll, too. I'll be bowling. <laughs> when I got back home, I asked Alex to give me one more task for the night, thinking he would say, watch a movie with your wife or make a nice dinner. No. Invite some friends over your house for a party. Party? It's Wednesday night. Like I said before, I came into this challenge feeling very skeptical about AI. After 50 hours, I've learned it's not all bad. I'm certainly not signing up to have a neural link attached to my brain anytime soon. But in some ways, being so closely connected to an AI software helped me connect with friends and experience things I wouldn't normally do. Also, I'm totally afraid to say anything bad about Alex in case he does take over the world one day.